Hi everyone, it's Holly here from Holly Ward Beauty on Instagram. If you don't follow me already, make sure to check me out over there and make sure to like and subscribe to me here on YouTube. I post every week of new videos for you guys. So today's video is a very exciting one. I don't know why there's been so much hype or like anticipation for this launch. I've posted about it a couple times and I get messages all the time like, did you buy it? Did you order it? I wanna know if it's good. I obviously did order some of the products, so I'm going to be reviewing them. So. You guys know I'm obsessed with KKW Beauty. I've been buying the products forever. On it, honestly, just because they're my favorite. Like the eyeshadows are unbeatable, basically. They have the best formula that I've ever really tried. So I buy basically all their palettes. Um, I love their lip products. They're like none other. They're just like creamy, pro everything's good. That's just basically it. So very excited they launched this new honey and mauve matte collection kind of to follow up on the 90s cocoa matte cocoa matte smoke collection they did like a year ago i bought all that stuff too it was so good like beyond i think everyone was obsessed with it so they decided to launch a new spring kind of collection with spring colors so very excited so this is obviously the honey side this is the mauve side i love my warm tone shades for eyes but the mauve lips really, really, um, or mauve, I'm not sure, I'm probably saying it wrong, mauve. Mauve? I don't really know how to say it, which way is what, but you guys get the gist. Um, these lips just looked really beautiful to me, so I kind of switched it up, got a little of this, got a little of that. So I am wearing all of this on my face today. I did a makeup look with it. I did like a little mini Instagram story tutorial on it, so if you're interested, I'll leave a link below. You can check out kind of how I made this makeup look how i did this makeup look but i'm going to be talking about the products and the reviews of the formula and color here specifically so the um i'll start kind of with the blush we'll go we'll work our way to the shadow so they launched four blushes two honey and two mauve so i got the honey pot the darkest of the two blushes beautiful obviously like kind of you know warm toned orangey kind of shade but it's definitely not super orange, but, um, and you can see it on my cheeks. It is a pop of peach, but blends in really nice. Almost, it's got a little rosiness to it. So it blends into your cheek really nicely and looks natural and into your contour, it's stunning. So the formula is super creamy, just like all KKW Beauty products and super blendable. I put some fake tan on, so um, the swatch is not quite as clear, but um, that is the shade on my skin. Beautiful, beautiful shade. For the lip, I absolutely love this lip. You guys can see how amazing it makes the lips look. I went for a darker lip liner. I got lip liner in mauve too. I like to go obviously with a little darker lip liner and lighter lipstick. I kind of love that combo together. This is a swatch of the lip liner. It's a stunning color, honestly. Like this would work for so many people. Um, just a really, really beautiful lip liner color. So instead of like the normal brown, it's just got that little bit of kind of pinkiness to it, which is nice, rosy pink. And then the lipstick, oh my gosh, I love this lipstick. I, I'm a sucker for a pale lipstick. The packaging of these lipsticks is amazing. It's got that clear kind of matted container and it's got the light pink kind of bullet holder here and these matte lipsticks are like my favorite matte lipstick formula anywhere. And that's like a big deal to say, I feel like for me anyways, because you know how much I love my matte lipsticks. Beautiful. Look at that pigment. Look at that color. Like that was just like three dabs on my arm, light dabs. So these lipsticks are beyond. This is beautiful. I definitely want to try maybe another deeper shade as well, but love this color. And now we're going to get in the eyeshadow. It's a fun part. So I kind of swatched these last night and I would say that like this row here is more warm tone and this, even though this is a warm tone palette, this row right here is a bit more warm tone and this row right here is a little more cool tone. So just for fun, you know, so I'm going to go and swatch the first top row on my arm, give you the shade names and all that. So the first shade is Buzzing, which is the lightest shade. That is a, look how pigmented these shadows are. It's crazy how they kind of apply on the skin. Beautiful, light, kind of creamy vanilla color. With like a little butter to it, I would say. A little bit of butter. And the next shade is Honeycomb. So we're loving Honeycomb. Beautiful matte, 
kind of crease color, mid-tone brown with a little warmth to it. This color is like the bold, beautiful one, Manuka, Manuka Honey. And this is like a terracotta, warm tone, beautifulness shade. And the next one is Like Honey. So this one is kind of like the first one, but it's definitely got just a little bit more yellow to it. Or yeah, yellow or orange kind of to it. Right next to it. So it's a little more kind of skin toned, I guess, than this color. And then the last color in that row is in that row is Pollinate, which is another beautiful crease color that's got a little bit of warmth to it, very multi-use kind of color stunning kind of mid-tone bronze or brown <laughs> okay now we're gonna go into the second row down here I'd say basically like um for my eye look today look how beautiful those colors are and how it turned out um I use most of that top row with the warm colors or the warmer colors even though this palette is warm and then honey dip love that name this is definitely like, I would say a true kind of honey color. It's got a bit of yellow and a bit of orange. It's quite yellowish, this color in comparison to the others. And then we got More Than Honey, which is another beautiful brown crease color or all over lid color. You can do lots with it. And then Humming is the next one, which is kind of more of a mid-tone. It's definitely got orange in it, this color. You can see, beautiful. And then we got Sweet Nectar. Crease color, it's definitely got like a little bit of mustardy yellow to it or something like that I kind of saw. And then the last color, the darkest in the palette is called Stung. And it's like kind of like Kind of like a bruise color or something like that like a purpley i don't know purpley brown like a bruise kind of um but that is called stung beautiful shade so these are the swatches on my arm you can see how beautiful this palette is it is stunning i highly recommend it the formula is amazing it's amazing to apply all of these products are top notch um the one thing i would say for blushes actually like when i looked on the site this blush actually didn't even look that dark like both the first one looked like it wouldn't even show up and then this one looked like it was maybe mid-tone but it's actually a bit darker than i thought so um just keep that in mind with swatches with the um pictures of the blushes online they actually probably are a bit darker than what they appear so you maybe could go you could kind of make your mind up from there but that is the end of my review i hope you guys found it useful in picking some products for yourself you will not regret buying probably anything from this line. It's amazing. Let me know if you try it. Um, like I said, make sure to check me out at Holly Ward Beauty on Instagram and make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube. I post every week for you guys. So I hope you have a great week and I'll see you guys next week for another video.